As you may know, I got a set of pistons and with the pistons um, they came with the rings and they are oversized pistons and we're gonna um, gap the rings in order to be able to install the rings and the pistons, pistons and the rods not in that order and then put in the block. So we're gonna gap the rings today. Alright, so we have the rings here. I have my vise just to keep this here in place. Um, but this is this is only uh, the little uh, ring gapper tool. So um, this goes like that and then we keep doing like this, right? Uh, by experience, one thing we need to do before getting started is get a little piece of tape any kind of tape and we're gonna put this in here and just do like that because once I'm done I can just let it go and it's not gonna fall out of here okay so this is one thing and you still gotta have the movement so don't shove the tape in there so this is enough you remove this here you have your little disc um, and let me see if I have I think it's a 10 millimeter yep it is a 10 millimeter so we're gonna get a 10 millimeter wrench Yep, so break that loose, take it out. I mean, yours should be already ready. I don't know. Dang, how so long? Okay, once you got that down, um, you need to tighten enough so it doesn't move. Otherwise, you're not gonna be as accurate so there you go so now we have our thing ready now I need to know what is the gap I need so that's the part we need to calculate so all of them comes with this little manual right and as you see here uh, there is some uh, calculation some math we need to do right so you see here this year, for example, there is a, a four-inch bore cylinder, and then it got, for example, this first one, which was 004, and the result is 0 0.016. So the gap after putting inside the uh, the cylinder is going to be 0 0.016 according to this, right? So what we need to do is we got to go to our cylinder. I'm going to measure one just to be sure, but it should be because mine is 86.5 millimeters. Just get that in inches, it will be 3.4055. And I'm going to uh, multiply 3.055 and I'm going to go to this list here. And I am between the uh, circle track or drag racing uh, or full, full on, uh, blown race only. I might go to the circle track. Uh, it's going to be 0055, right? So 0.0055, that's for the first ring. So you can, I can just believe in whatever measurement that it is because um, it just came back from the shop. Uh, but I can get this here, right? And here, go to zero and inches. And let's go. One, two, three inches uh, yep three four okay so now I'm gonna put in there carefully okay so this is what I got from my cylinder three four zero two um, between three four um, zero zero and three four zero two 
it keeps going back to 339 but I'm sure 3400 is good so now I'm going to calculate 3400 3. times whatever is in here so let's go back inside stupidly just math right first ring 3.4 times 0 0.0055 is equal to 0 0.0187 so that's going to be my gap and here um, it's going to be 0 0.20 204 so probably this will be 0 0.19 and 0 0.21 I want to round up since I wanna I wasn't sure where are you if I would go uh, bone race only or a circle track so you know just round up to, to go so 21 and 19 0 21 and 0 19 so now this brings us to one question which one is the first ring? These people spend a lot of time creating this manual and how to install and positions and all that stuff. Um, so in here, we have the oil ring. Then we have the, uh, I don't know how that's called, groove ring or whatever. And then you have the second ring and the first ring. That little dot is this letter here. So you see there is a letter in right in there so that goes to the top okay and here the end is on the other side so you see a little dirt in there on the blur blur yep and now how to know which one of those two is the first ring so the manual says the first ring which is the top one should have the on the north side on the top side a little indentation indentation on the top right which inside the top and the second ring would be inside and the bottom so i look at the first ring the first ring is is a rectangle so it does not have anything uh which is fine so i know that this is the first ring because this is the metallic color usually that's how it is and the second ring is a dark one if you look at the second ring though if you look at the bottom of it see that little step in there right in here so that uh that tells me that the manual is correct so this is the second ring has a little step in here so it goes like this the little dot is in here and um it has that groove right in there so to start this process now i'm going to get one of the pistons and we need that because we're going to square that into the, the block so we're going to get this we're going to squ squeeze a little bit like this put it in there twist that goes in place square with this and then we're going to measure so let's do it all right so um i just got this out of the box i'm going to get a fine one of those and i'm just going to take slowly uh, top and bottom I just want to be sure that this is not going to scratch my block so I'm going to put this away I'm going to get a piece of paper clean that to be sure that this is out there is it there is it now I am going to um, get some assembly lube because I don't want either uh, just put the ring on the dry you can use oil um, but anyway, if you're building the engine, you're going to need assembly lube anyway, so there you go. So just a little bit. Clean my fingers. Clean the outside. We need to clean this later because I don't want oil up here. It's got to be pretty dry because of the gasket. So what we do with the ring is be sure that the end for or, or the, the circle or whatever indicates that the top part is on the bottom um, and then we're going to squeeze a little bit put it down and then flip it so I'm going to uh, put on this side so you can see better and now we're going to get our uh, piston 
and we're going to square so I'm going to put it down enough until it's square for me here right so you, you don't need to go that deep but I mean this is fine and now I'm going to start getting uh, my gauge here so this is uh, 0 0.12 as you can see and what I do is you put this on the bottom touch the cylinder put your finger and slide it's like cutting like a knife so you see it is in so it is in but it's pretty uh, tight so which means it is 12 already and from whatever we decide to go which is 19 so from 12 we need to grind this until we reach 19 so what we're gonna do now we're gonna uh, flip it up squeeze it take this uh, lube out of here oil is better to be honest because it's not gonna get um, it's not as sticky but I decide to do assembly lube so let's go back to the bench I'm gonna do probably 10 laps and come in here and measure again all right so there are those two things in here uh, and we do like this we push this all the way until it touches these two bolts in here and I need to pick one side so the uh, we're just gonna grind one side because the other side is gonna be our uh, indicator if we're grinding correctly because once we are done and then we do like this this gotta be even so you gotta touch each other you can have one like 45 degree angle and the other one like this because that's not good right okay so you're gonna do 12 turns not laps so I'm gonna touch it in there one two three four five seven all right so I did 13 turns there you go so let's go back in there and do the same thing all right let's see what is the deal now all right um, I expect the 15 to go too easily and does not it's very tight <laughs> that's odd like I'm grinding but that's not grinding anything well 16 okay so let's go there so keep in mind when you put this in here um, you need to be sure that this is straight and you want to go down so you need to be sure that first this goes straight there and you're grinding down so we're gonna do a few turns I lost count but I definitely grind some because I could see material out of there uh, yeah now let's go see how it looks all right so I just took the sharp edges the top side is this side so we're gonna go that way <laughs> this is how I do it by the way I squeeze a little bit put it in there put like this and I don't push this side because it's gonna scratch the cylinder so I move the other side up then this side here doesn't have sharp edges in the in the cylinder so yeah so there you go squared and let's get the things so 15 it was tough now it goes in there smooth 16 uh, it goes there tight 
17. No. Oh, 17 goes there like very tight. So, yeah, I guess we're not far. Now we need to slow down the turns. 18 is like pushing the crap out of it. So, we're slowing down the turns. And I'm going to do a few more and then come back in here. So I did 14 more laps. And let's see what happened. Yeah, that's a square like this is better. So there we go. So I have 18 in my hands. I can fit 18 in there. And last one, 19. So I just want to be sure that I didn't pass. Because if I did, I need to pass in all of them. Oh, 19. Yep. I did. I did good. So, 19 is there. See, that's how it goes. And if I try the 20, I just want to try because whatever happens here, I need to do the same thing on the other ones. The 20 just go halfway, so which means that I didn't do it square enough. But this is the cylinder one, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna write on that box one, and now we're gonna do uh, the, the second ring. All right, second ring was 21. Okay, so we're gonna do same thing, get the north side. Or, or the dot, put it in there, pull the ring up, square that baby in there, and this is thicker, so it kind of stays better. And here we need 21. Um, sometimes I'm gonna get 18. I'm gonna start with the 18. Ooh, 21. And that's what I was going to say before I go there. Sometimes it comes factory, like over 20, over whatever amount you want. So look, 21 is over. Uh, I'm going to try 23. Oh, 23. I'm going to try 24. Yep. So it is 23 already. And the same thing happened to me when I was building my Eclipse. Uh... Yeah, I didn't have it. I mean, you have all that calculations and all that stuff, but you don't have the chance because it the gap that comes in there is already too big. So this year is 23. I'm not gonna mess with anything. I'm gonna leave 23 because our goal was 21 anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna calculate the full blown race only and see if that one gives me 23. I'm going to change this value too, and then we are going to go full-blown instead. Alright, so I didn't have the option. Um, so this is what I did. I calculated what 23 meant in here because it wasn't quite uh, 70, right? So it wasn't quite full-blown, but it was too much for the uh, circle track. So because it's my drift car, I could go all the way down because I'm going to use this, it's going to get hot and all that stuff. But, uh, I'm not going to. So I calculated it was 0068. So it took like 0002 out of there. So I took 0002 out of here. Um, I mean, give it or take, if you get the percentage, it will be a little less. But uh, it is 0063. So if I calculate it, uh, it would be 22 but i am going to keep the top ring as 21 and the bottom ring as 23. that's exactly what i did in this car here uh, and <laughs> exactly the same thing i bought a set of the uh, je uh, rings and i didn't have the option because it was 23 already so good thing is i don't need to grind the second ring 
uh, in bad news here, so I need to grind the first thing again. Uh, so from 19, it jumps to 21. So I'm gonna do some more turns, see if this time I can get more square. So 19, all right, let me square that. There we go, 19, good, 20, good, 21, Ooh, 21, 21 tight, nice. So I'm gonna keep 21 tight. Uh, I'm gonna try 22 just to see, but it should not go. Yep, does not go. So 21 is good. Uh, first one down. So now, right in the box, cylinder one, and then that's what we're gonna use. All of them are gapped. Uh, it's 3 a.m. now. So cylinder number six. 22, 24, tight. So, I did everything. Cylinder 1, 2, I don't know if you can see, but I wrote the number of the cylinder here. Since uh, they are specific for each cylinder. Just in case each cylinder has a different kind of size, um, this is gapped properly. And also here, you can see how much material it takes. It's not a lot, just a little bit. All right, guys. So, if you are not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. I gotta go now. It's 3 a.m. and I gotta work tomorrow, so probably I'm gonna sleep for four hours. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for watching my video. I hope this helped you. I hope uh, you follow. Um, the next videos for the build of my 2JZ that I'm gonna put on my BMW, which is my drift car. Um, don't forget to leave a little. Don't forget to make a comment if you have any. Um, leave a little thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.